Hello and welcome back to this game series. I am your host, Prony Force 5 and I will be bringing you through this game as best as I can and uh, as, as long as you watch, because otherwise you're not here and, uh, um, well, that's that. Uh, the map is going to be Metropolis and, oh, a misclick here from Fnatic. Ooh, that's got to feel real bad. Um, but that does not mean that he will lose the game. That just means that he misclicked once. Um, anyway, Fnatic Knight and will be spawning is the red Protoss here in the 9 o'clock position on the map, Metropolis. And across from him in the 3 o'clock position, it is Marine King Prime as the Blue Terran, the one and only Prime Minister. I, I don't know. Prime something. A prime Canada for winning. Haha. Ha. Uh, but really, this is going to be rather interesting because the, the series is tied up. If you haven't seen the other two games, you should go watch them now. It is from the uh, NVIDIA Invitationals. And there are quite a few renowned players here such as uh, Polt, Marine King Prime creator and uh, I think I think those are the majority of them and of course you have a few other players but uh, I mean who doesn't know Marine King Prime I don't know too many people who don't as if, if they watch StarCraft 2 otherwise well I can understand now here we do have command center first and then barracks. This is likely because of the map. The probe does see that the, the expansion is not over here. And uh, Night End is not deciding to go for a forge fast expand, which would be, uh, would be rather safe on this map. The spawn distances are absolutely enormous. You even have this big pole here sitting in the middle of it and a and a fire escape that goes into nowhere. Um, I'd hate to be in that fire escape. What is this? Uh, the Star Wars the Star Wars Death Star right here? There's the, the little door and uh, and a little place for you to get up to up here. Yeah, that does not look safe. The fire escape does in fact go up instead of down. So uh, if there's a fire beneath you yeah uh, you're basically doomed anyway this probe getting some scout getting some scouting information here um, he did see that this command center was uh, it was a command center this zealot possibly going to deny scouting but no Marine King Prime is not going for a scout at least not yet and now he's going for a third command center and this is as greedy as he can get uh, this was his, this is the greed that I was talking about before this is the greed that he's known for he can pull it off he does have second two barracks um, but how is his gas no he isn't going for gas yet but he only has two barracks he might even go even more greedy and just go quadra gas uh, but that is to be determined. The Nexus is down for Night End. What can he do? What can he do is the question. He's moving out with a Stalker and a Zealot. Possibly to get some harass done. But there is a bunker standing here. And five Marines. And if anybody knows the Marine Credo. Uh, it's Semper Fi. Yeah, Semper Fidelis. There's no way out of that one. He might even bring these marines out to save the SCV. No, the, the SCV is safe. Now Marine King is deciding, what is he deciding to go for? He is getting gas. He's going double gas. And this is greedy. Actually, no, he's going for quadra gas. I apologize, I missed this. I missed it. Well, this is exactly what Marine King Prime is known for he's known for this greed he's going to tech labs and a reactor possibly to go for a stim pack 
concussive shell timing. Um, if he gets any marauders out, is that the case? No, he's even get he's even more greedy. He's going double engineering bay. Marine King knows his limits, and going this third base here is going to do huge things. The stalker is in a good position. Dark Shrine for Night End. Night End says, uh, it pause the game. So, here we have an interesting move from Night End. He's going for the Dark Shrine, which means only one thing, Dark Templar. And this is going to be his ace in the hole, hopefully, if he has an ace. Uh, otherwise, he will not have an ace, and it will, in fact, backfire on him, and he will be leagues behind. There are the, the Dark Templars. They're moving forward, and our unsuspecting Marine King does not have detection. Now the first DT has revealed itself, killing lots of units. What will Marine King Prime do to, to fight this? He's going to get one, but there are more up here wreaking havoc on the base. There it goes. And what happens? Oh, it gets canceled. Whatever it was got canceled. It was Stimpak, most likely. Now this Dark Templar is going to attack the second research lab and tech lab rather. Research lab. No, it is researching and it just got destroyed. These Dark Templars are doing so much damage here. There's another one down here at the engineering bay. Gonna prevent so much research here. What's going on? He's gonna save the engineering bay, uh, but he won't save the add-ons over here. Where is it? He has four more energy to go. Where are these Dark Templars? He is moving the factory around. What is he gonna do with the factory? He's gonna spot for any sort of proxy pylons, but they are not anywhere nearby. Here's another Dark Templar, and now all these forces moving around all of this canceled and everything is in a lot of trouble here is he going to save this tech lab doesn't look like it it's with 26 hp can he heal it can he save it yes he can just barely can he save this engineering bay is the question not much is going on here all these dark templars have bought Fanatic time and energy he has expanded here, but he is floating quite a few resources. He needs to get out some zealot stalkers, whatever he needs. And now there is one more Dark Templar. This missile turret is not paying for itself here, and now the tech lab is going to drop again. He does have enough energy for a scan, kills it again, and now the war prism needs to get out of there. At the workers lost, it is 16 for Night End and 0 for Marine King. What can Marine King Prime do here? This is actually exactly what Night End needed. He did punish his opponent. He did punish Marine King for going so greedy. But now he is going for a 2-2 attack. And this is looking devastating here. Level 1 attack is on the way for Night End and even a Colossus. Now Marine King needs to deal with this War Prism as soon as possible. The Medivacs are out and now the War Prism is here. The Missile Turrets are dropping. Okay, well just one Missile Turret. But that is, uh, that's really all he needs. For this base, even building a huge supply depot wall all the way around it, Night End is once again supply blocked. He's not even building any pylons. He needs to build pylons. Uh, it is characteristic of Night End, I guess, 
to get supply blocked. Oh, wait, no, no. My apologies. No, it was Marine King that was supply blocked, but not for long. Okay, my apologies. That little red red deal is kind of in the way. I need to move it somewhere else. And Night End is in a lot of trouble here. Once again, he does have great... He does have three Colossus, so if he has good positioning here, uh, then he should be fine. Great positioning here on the Colossus. Yes, killed quite a few Marines, roasted and toasted, and now all of these forces have died. But one of the Colossus drops instantly. The second one drops also. Even the third one could die. Yes, they die so fast at 2-2 units, and now Marine King is going to retreat. That is a huge loss for Naiden because now he has to produce those three units again and with one robotics facility it takes a while to reproduce that. Now up here the fourth command center for Marine King is under attack here and Marine King decides he's going to keep building. He's, uh, he's like Bob the Kill, Bob the Builder. He can fix it. Uh, it looked like he attacked his own command center there for a second. And now the command center is almost finished. Uh, but it's in the red. 3-3 three, three attack is nearly completed. Or it has just started, rather. And now there are a lot of marauders in this composition. Great against stalkers, actually, even even better against stalkers. He does have concussive shells, and this is going to mean lights could mean lights out easily for this force. Night End does get a surround, a decent surround here. The command center is still alive for now, and a huge warp in of stalkers on the high ground, but they're just getting eaten through by these marauders. And a small flank here on the fourth, on this side. Ooh, this, this, that stalker didn't get the memo that the uh, bling party was elsewhere. Attention, service bay is closed for repairs due to recent meteor showers. I'm not sure they were meteor showers, uh, but that they were explosions from medevacs and, and stalkers and stuff like that. Now Marine King is even bringing in this death ball composition a ghost or quite a few ghosts actually three Ghosts are important against them. Honestly, I think ghosts are the most underused unit in Protoss or in, in TVP because uh, they're only ne they're, they're only regularly used when dark when uh, dark Templar no, rather, High Templar are around. Now Night End getting his own fourth base here. This base from Marine King is being constructed, and he did build it in an orbital command. Even greed, more greedy is that he did not get uh, the uh, Planetary Fortress, although on a map like this, it's really difficult to do. Uh, Marine King getting a couple of EMP snipes there, but no. Instead, he's going to isolate the two forces from each other. And now, Fnatic is in a lot of trouble again. This force is huge. Going to destroy some of the production capabilities of Night End. And this force is looking massive. He's maxed out. He has 3-3 three, three attack against 2-2. Two, two. The Zealots with Charge are doing the best that they can. They're saying for Sparta, but they just don't have enough kicking power. And Marine King isn't even microing anymore. He's headed back to base. Level 3 attack is on the way, but it doesn't really matter. He might force Night End to GG here, and that's what happens. And now Marine King is up 2 in the series. Or he's up 1. It's, it is at 2-1 two two uh, in the favor of Marine King. 
we'll see what happens next time. I will see you guys then. This is Prony Before 5.